my name is Tom and welcome to Living Through Limits. Um, today I'm going to open a package that I received in the mail yesterday. I was waiting for today. Um, it's from Moen. I had called him regarding a, a warranty item that I installed my shower, my tub shower valve. Oh, I don't know, 15, 18 years ago. And they have been really good with the warranty. Every time I call them, they send me the part I need. And so I wanted to open this on camera and show what it is. So, it came in this nifty little cushioned package. We'll tear it open and see if they sent me the right part I needed. And we have a nice little box. And it's even made in the USA. So let's see what we've got. Ooh. We have a new tub spout and it's even the right one. Isn't that cool? In the plastic bag and even the little escunction. So, why don't you join me and we'll head into the bathroom and change out this spout. So, what you're gonna need for this little project is a little Allen wrench. And it'll fit into the Allen wrench set screw that comes, it's already mounted on the spout. Now, it's nice to size your Allen wrench on your new spout because you can't really see the old spout. This one's pretty compared to the old one. So, the hardest thing is figuring out where you're, because you can't see it. And for some reason, I put this one on real crooked. Let's see. Oh, and the old one comes off. Take off the old escutcheon. I always just look for any damage or water damage. Doesn't look like any. Pretty nice for being so old. A nice new little escutcheon. So that just comes over. You just push it in place. Then you can kind of see how much you can see you can see in here what happens is is this as you tighten it up that piece comes up and it makes like a clamp. Now inside the spout and this needs to go up a little bit or you'll never get it in the in the hole there you go now you can see it's centered and if you look at my allen wrench back in there there's an o-ring and that's what actually makes the seal kind of check that for any issues and I just usually kind of wiggle it around so we don't ruin the o-ring and we're going into place and what I usually do is I'll leave this spout up till it just about snug and then I'll put my allen wrench in place because it's easier to see it out here Turn my spout, get it nice and straight under, unlike the last one. Tighten this up. You don't want to tighten it real tight because you also don't want to ruin the piece of pipe. It's just copper. Okay, now. What went bad on my on this spout is the little this little plastic part that 
that diverts the water and when you block that off then if you look here in the shower the way the shower valves made is if this gets blocked off then the water runs up and comes out the shower head so now this should all work we'll take our trash out of here Remove my towel. Turn our shower valve so it doesn't run out on the floor. We can turn the water on. Water comes out of the spout. And it seals off nicely now. Usually when you turn that off, little pressure comes out sometimes and you can just release your spout now I just wanted to say too this was not an endorsement by any way from Moen but I really like Moen's products I have always had good results with calling them having them give me the replacement parts no questions asked so I want to thank you for watching this video if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, you too can live through your limits. Thank you.